So let's continue with our binary search playlist. But before that, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So the problem that we are going to solve today is split array largest sum or painter's partition. Now both of the problems have different problem statements. But when you try to visualize the problem, like when you break down the problem statement and you try to figure out what exactly you have to find, you'll find that both the problems are same. Yes, they are exactly same. So let's understand first the painter's partition problem. Once you have understood that, then we will understand the problem statement of split array largest sum. And you'll figure out that both of them are exactly similar, like the concept will be exactly similar. So what is the problem painter's partition stating? It is stating that you have a long wall. And uh, first you have 10 units of area that has to be painted. The next you have 20 that has to be painted. The next has 30 that has to be painted. Next has 40 that has to be painted. So the first one has 10 units that has to be painted. And in order to paint 10 units, you'll be requiring 10 units of time. In order to paint 20, you'll be requiring 20. In order to paint 30, you'll be requiring 30. In order to paint 40, you'll be requiring 40. Now the question is stating, you're given two painters. You're given two painters. So what you have to make sure is, each of this painter get at least one unit to paint at. So maybe I can say, painter one, can you paint the first portion, which is the 10? He's like, okay. And the painter two will be painting 20, 30, 40. That's fine. Or what can be the other possibility? The other possibility can be 10, 20 goes to the painter one and 30 and 40 goes to the painter two. Okay, that can be one of the possibilities. What can be the other one? 10, 20, 30 goes to the painter 1 and 40 goes to the painter 2. That can be another possibility. Can this be a possibility where I say 10, 20, 30, 40 goes to painter 1 and painter 2 has nothing to do. That is not allowed. That is not allowed. It is clearly stated that you have to make sure that each of the painters get at least one job to do. Got it? Can I have something like this? Maybe I'll say 10, 30 to painter 1 and 20, 40 to painter 2. Again, this is also not allowed. Why? Because you're saying painter 1, do this one, painter 1, do this one, painter 2, do this one, and painter 2, do this one. So it's not consecutive. The task has to be consecutive. So over here, it is not consecutive. But if you look at these examples, they are consecutive. So let's look at the first split where the painter 1 is painting 10. And the painter 2 is painting 20, 30, 40. How much time will painter 1 take? So the painter 1 takes 10. Like, that is what he will take. And the painter 2 will end up taking 20 plus 30, 50 plus 40, 90. So if I have to ask you, if both of the painters are starting the work simultaneously, who will finish at the last? The painter 2 and what time will it take? So to paint everything, you will take a 90 time. Or I can say... It's a maximum of both. It's a maximum of all the painters. Yes. Let's look at over here. First painter will take 30. The next one will take 70. So what is the total like? At what time will both of them finish? I can say 70 is the maximum time when both of them will finish. Make sense? Let's look at this example. I'm saying the painter 2 will take 40. Whereas uh, this is 60. Uh, the painter 1 takes 60. So if I allocate them 60, and if they start parallelly, I will be able to finish everything. So that is 60 over here. If I ask you, which one is the least? Can I say 60 is the least? I can. Yes. Thereby, this is what you have to print. This is what you have to print. If I carefully observe, can I say the question is kind of stating that there, there was like two painters? You have to split the array into two halves or into two sub arrays. That is what you're doing. You're splitting them into two sub-arrays. Now, what is a sub-array? Sub-array is the contagious part of the array. So you're splitting them into two sub-arrays or you're splitting them into two sub-arrays or you're splitting them into two sub-arrays. Now, what you're trying to do? What is the time it will take? It will always take the summation of the maximum. Summation of the maximum. Over here, this one was the maximum. Over one, over here, sorry. Over here, this one was the maximum. Over here, this one was the maximum. Agreed? So thereby, the maximums, like whichever is the minimum, that's the answer. So can I say, 
min of all max min of all max was is what you have to find yes so this is what inter partition is stating now what is the other problem stating split array largest sum what is the other problem stating it's the exactly same so i hope you have understood the painter's partition problem it's time to understand split array largest sum let's analyze if the concepts are same or not so what is the problem stating it is stating that you're given an array and the array will be containing integers and your task is to split the array into k sub arrays very important point split the array into k sub arrays and you have to make sure that each of the sub arrays has at least one element it cannot be an empty sub array okay so how can you split it you can be like maybe i can split it like 10 this is one of the ways or maybe you can be like 10 20 30 40 or maybe you can be like 10 20 30 and then 40 you cannot do it in any other way you cannot do it like 10 30 and then 20 40 because the question is clearly stating to split it into sub arrays and you know that sub arrays are contagious let's read the next uh, statement such that the max sub array sum over here which sub array has the maximum sum this one which is 90 over here 70 over here 60 because this is 90 this is 70 and this is 60 now what is the question asking which one has the minimum which one has the minimum the minimum is 60 and that is what you have to return you have to split it in such a way you have to split it in such a way that the maximum sub array sum is the minimum and in this case it is 60 and again if i carefully observe the question is asking us to find the minimum of all the max so can i say that both of the problems are same like this one and this one are exactly similar and the task is to split the array into k sub arrays such that the maximum sub array sum is minimum you have to figure out min of max and if you remember these couple of questions are similar to one more question we have already done that and that is allocation of books if you remember that problem statement we were given an array yes we were given an array and we were given let's say k equal to 3 right and your task was to split them into three students you have to split them into three students and over here the maximum number of pages was minimum so if you split it something like if k was 3 you have to split them in contiguous fashion so imagine you split it like this this summation was 46 56 uh, 71 the summation over here is 77 and this one was 24 which is the maximum 77 this is what you have to minimize this question is also similar to these couple of questions and they have exact same conditions if you read each student should get at least one book each each painter should at least have one item each sub array each sub array should at least have one item pretty much similar each book should be allocated to only one student the same the same goes over here they're giving 10 just to one not to this one right okay let's look at the other one book allocation should be in contiguous you have to do it in contiguous sub array does mean contiguous three conditions are same maximum minimum again the same maximum minimum concept so the problem is same the concept the underlying concept is exactly same the only difference is the problem statements and this is how you will be asked in online assessments or coding interviews they might tweak the problems but your task is to analyze or visualize the problem and understand that this belongs to this particular pattern so what i'll do is i'll quickly go to the code editor and i have the largest uh, sub array sum minimized open i'll go to allocate books i'll copy the code that we have written in the previous lecture and i'll quickly go over here i'll try to paste it and now from here what i'll do is i'll try to return and i'll call the find pages function which basically returns me the answer a it requires n which is a dot size and k and now what i'll try to do is i'll try to straight away submit it i'm very confident that it will run so let's quickly it does and so the same thing with paint spartation so there's this uh, paint spartation problem i'll copy paste and i'll again do the same thing return 
find pages and then boards boards dot size oh how my bad okay and try to submit it again and this one will also be submitted please make sure uh, that uh, you don't write it like this instead of that try to write these things i'm using i'm like reusing it because i'm teaching but when you go for an interview don't write fine pages try to write the code inside the fine largest one got it i hope you have understood this time complexity same as allocation of books one problem will help you to solve three other problems so going back to the sheet i can say that this one is done so i hope you have understood uh, this particular problem and with this we are wrapping up with the min max or the max min concept in the next problem we will be doing something which is more like binary search on doubles so make sure you watch the next video as well and if you are still watching uh, do consider giving us that like and if you are new to our channel please 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 do consider subscribing to us as well and if you haven't followed me on instagram linkedin twitter all the profile links will be in the description with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's spend some of the video till then bye bye take care